Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with the Blitzy Creative Team, and we're going to start off today's layout by using the Heidi Swap Mink Machine. This is a super fun machine that is made for foiling all kinds of projects. So it comes in two sizes. This is the 12 inch machine. It also comes in a mini, which is six inches, has a little power on off switch on the back, and then it has your different settings on the front, and you're just going to want to consult whatever medium you're using, and it will more than likely tell you what number setting to use if you're using the Heidi Swap products. So speaking of products, there are tons of things that go with this mink machine that are just so much fun. To the right there, you're going to see a couple of things that are done by specific designers. For example, Amy Tangerine and Dear Lizzie. The top right hand corner is just a, a variety of different everyday products. I was just showing you some of my favorite colors of the foil. Then these are the carrier sheets. This is kind of the sandwich that you're going to use to run through your machine and it comes in two different sizes but I just cut mine down because I, I typically foil small things so I just cut mine down to like a six by six size I just find it more manageable and easier to use and this is what it looks like and I just I have so much fun with this machine I can't believe it's taking me this long to make a video on it what you see there is toner paper. So the way that the mink works is that it adheres to anything that is printed in toner. So if you have a printer at home that prints with toner, you can use different online designs, you can create your own design, and the foil is going to stick to any part that is black. So if you have a design, like for instance, some of these super cute Christmas ones that they just came out with, any part of these designs that's black is where the, the foil is going to adhere to, which is super cool because it makes it very clear where it's going to be. These are some tags. I love these tags. I think they're so cute. I love this kind of Nordic sweater print. I think it's so fun. And I like that they're a bunch of different shapes. So it just gives you a lot of versatility. I'm actually going to use one of these tags. It's not here because I've already added the foil to it in the layout coming up a little bit later in the video. This video has a lot in it. It's a little bit longer. So I hope you enjoy that. I'm just zooming in a little bit to give you a closer look because these, are, these designs are really fun. And I was so excited to see a themed you know, product. Those are some labels. It also has some to from stickers that are great for presents. There's some photo quarters, some ephemera, and then this is a fun the kind of 3D project that creates a snowflake banner. So I would definitely encourage you to check that out. So I wanted to show you how you can use those toner sheets with any of your dyes or at home and create some really cool things. So I used a Lawn Fawn little um, treat pocket die and some of that toner paper. So when I run this through the mink, it's going to adhere the whole thing, foil is going to adhere to the whole thing because the whole thing is black and you know it has toner on it. So I'm just going to put it in my carrier sheet. You're going to want to put the foil pretty side up because it's going to stick you know to the top of that die cut. So the top of your product, whatever you're doing, you want the, the toner facing up and then you want the foil facing up. You want to cut off any excess that's hanging out of that carrier sheet because it could get stuck in your machine. Don't ask me how I know that, but I do know that firsthand. And you're just going to run it through. Now, I've sped this up a little bit. It doesn't, doesn't go this fast, but it doesn't take very long at all, maybe 30 seconds to go through. And then when you pull it off, look how cool this little die looks. So much fun. It's completely covered in gold foil, which is awesome because you can change it. You can make it any color of the foil that you have. I'm also going to show you on this little um, tag really quickly because it's very intricate. So I wanted you to see how great the foil adheres to even the most intricate of designs. I've never had it miss a beat. You know, I've never pulled the, pulled it open and had a part that wasn't foiled. It's always worked perfectly. And I've, but I've always used the Heidi Swap products that go with it. I haven't tried printing on my own, but I thought this is something I would like to try in the future. So look how pretty that is. I love this red color. And then you could also use the negative that's left over, which is really cool. I haven't used those yet, but I have been saving them because, you know, I plan to. So now we're on to the layout. So I have taken this photograph. If y'all don't know, I live in Alabama, the southern part of Alabama. So we do, getting snow here is an event. And last year we got a teeny tiny little bit of snow and of course I had to take a picture. So I'm starting off with using some Distress, Distress inks. I'll have the colors and links listed below. And I have cut my Tim Holtz craft mat to a smaller size because I find that this is the perfect thing to use for the packaging technique. 
Except now I guess I can't call it the packaging technique, right? I should call it the craft map technique. <laughs> I'm just hitting that with my heat gun to speed up the drying process. Now, if you've used a lot of water, you probably don't want to use your heat gun because it might warp your paper, but I didn't use too terribly much water. Now, this layout is pretty unusual for me because it doesn't have any patterned paper. It has some patterned vellum there, which is from the Jen Hadfield DIY shop, and I love it. But I didn't use any patterned paper. I used mostly embellishments. That Let It Snow banner there is from the Heidi Swap Christmas stuff, and I ran it through the mink with some gold foil and created that little banner, which I think is just adorable. So I am adhering my photo, a little gold doily, and then of course the banner. And if you saw me put that blue, that blue foam, that's actually like kids fun foam that is really inexpensive, a lot more inexpensive than, you know, the craft foam that we normally use. And I think that's a great trick, especially if you want to put it on the back of your whole photo so you don't use too much of your, you know, more expensive foam. I'm going to adhere the whole thing to a piece of Maggie Holmes pattern paper. And I always use the Tombow Extreme to do this because that watercolor paper is very thick and it's pretty heavy. And I just want to make sure that it stays in place. I'm adhering this little chipboard um, gold deer that I have been saving with some glossy accents. And then I'm adding some little foam adhesive to the back of this banner because I want to give it a little bit of height. I think it looks fun. And then I'm going to add this little embellishment from Amy Tangerine and I added some gold DMC floss behind that. You just didn't see that part. Now I've taken some seam binding and I have a love-hate relationship with seam binding because I love the way that it looks on layouts but I hate that it burned my fingers when I mess with it because it's so thin the glue comes through but I kind of do this back and forth folding technique there. I've made a layout similar to this before. Um, it's on my YouTube channel and I really like the way it looks. I think it gives it a really nice spot for the title, especially when you haven't really created one with your design elements, because I didn't here. I was going to have the title be Snow Day, because it's kind of funny that there's barely any snow, but it was like an event and like a snow day. But then I noticed that the tag said, let it snow also, and I didn't want it to say, let it snow, snow day. It just seemed kind of repetitive. So I changed the title to Baby It's Cold and I'm going to add the word outside underneath it. I'm using these thickers from Pebbles. I think they're from Jen Hadfield also. And I love the mix of these like super graphic letters with this kind of girly, pinky, gold, floaty layout. It's the same design concept I used on another layout that I was talking about before. And I just love the way that it looked. So I kind of scrap looks at it from myself. So here's some close-up pictures of the layout. I added a little bit of India ink at the end. I hope you have enjoyed this extra long video and um, that you'll check out Blitzy for all your crafting supplies. Thanks guys and I hope you're having a great holiday season.